SwiftUI's Content Unavailable view shows a standard system user interface for when your app has nothing to display. And I know, I know that sounds redundant. After all, if your app has nothing to display, you've got nothing to display. But Content Unavailable view is really helpful for times when your app relies on user information and it hasn't been provided yet. For example, your user hasn't made any data or they've searched something in the app and there's no results yet. As an example, let's say we're making an app that helps users write down snippets of Swift code they want to try and remember in the future. It might start with no snippets by default, which makes sense, just launch the app. And so we could make a content unavailable view like this. We'll say content unavailable view, with a title of no snippets, and a system image of the Swift logo in quotes, like that. So the Swift icon here is from SF Symbols, plus a title below it, nice bold font there saying no snippets. If you want to, you can provide an extra line description text below. This is a text view rather than a string, so you can apply extra styling. You could say custom font or custom color, it's down to you. So I'll say here, title that, image that, and then description will be a text view saying, you don't have any saved snippets yet. So it fits in really nicely with the default look and feel for iOS. And if you want full control, then you can provide individual views for the title and description along with buttons to help them uh, get started. So you might say here, for example, there's a content unavailable view. The title, I want a label saying no snippets with this image of, of Swift again. Description will be our texting again. So it was, uh, you don't, oops, don't have any saved snippets yet. And then for the actions, I'm gonna say I wanna have a button in here that says create snippet. That'll do some actual work, of course, in your app. Here, boom. And then attach a button style of bordered. Let's do prominent like that, boom. So it's a great way to launch the app when it's blank. So it's a really simple view to use. Those are the three main use cases, but it's much, much better than just showing a blank screen when the user first comes to your application.